How's it going, guys? It's Xbox Jared here. So, uh, for some of you guys who know, I am a musician. Uh, it's been a long ass time since I've done anything musical related. Uh, just the other day, I did drop a vocal track, uh, a vocal cover of a band I like called Whitechapel. You can check that out. But I just want to say this is a short little update before I start the video. Um, I'm going to try to start doing a lot more music stuff, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, um, I love bass guitar, and I just wanted to do a review on bass guitars. Um, there's actually 8-string bass guitars now, which is awesome, and I wish they had that back in my day. Uh, I'm from the 90s, that's when I started playing music, and back in the 90s, uh, from what I recall, I think the most strings you could find on a bass were 6, and even that was rare. But nowadays, you can buy a bass guitar with 8 strings. And so with an 8-string guitar, you basically have almost every string of a regular guitar and a lot of strings of a bass. So it's like a bass and an electric guitar combined. And that to me is simply epic because you can do almost everything on it. Now I say almost because I know you don't have every single string of an electric guitar, but still, that's really amazing. Uh, with an eight-string bass, like I said, I mean it's 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 a combine it's a combination of bass and electric guitar. I mean, if you had someone who played an eight-string bass in a band, you really would only need one guitarist. I mean, unless you needed like a solo guitarist and a rhythm guitarist, but really all you would need is one. Uh, the reason I say this too is because you can have a very full sound with a bass guitar, you know, and I don't mean to be disrespectful, but like a lot of bass guitarists do not use their bass to their full potential. The reason I say this is because many of them don't even play chords. You can play chords on a bass. I mean, it still sounds good. It's still feasible. You can still do it. Most people simply don't. But with an eight string bass guitar, I mean, you get an extremely full sound. It would sound just like an electric guitar. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's fucking awesome. Uh, that's just amazing. And again, I, I wish so badly they had that when I was young. But then again, I probably my hands probably would have been too small to play it. Uh, the only downside of an eight-string bass, guys, is they're fucking huge. And if you're a little dude, you might have a hard time playing one. Um, that's not to say you couldn't, but it might be somewhat of a challenge. The necks are very wide. Um, you know, if you don't have huge, weird alien hands like me, it would probably be hard to play like a full chord of every string. But, um, what was I going to say that, you know, oh, one other thing is that, oh my God, they are heavy. Um, I wish I had an eight string here I could show you. Um, not that you could feel, not that I could have you feel how heavy it is, but like, they are fucking heavy. Even six string bass guitars are heavy. For those of you who play six string, I used to have a six string bass. I sold it. Um, I got, never go on Craigslist to sell things. People will just, oh my lord, that just. <laughs> I I sold it to some fucking asshole for like fifty dollars, but I paid like three fifty for it. Um, the thing about me is I like to customize my shit. I like to do custom paint, and you know he didn't want a custom paint job, so I had to talk him down, but. Or he talked me down anyways, but anyways, um, going back to what I was saying, uh, yeah, even a six string guitar is heavy, but you can buy straps though. The cool thing is you can actually buy straps, which, uh, have like felt, you know, comfortable, squishy straps that are easier on the shoulders. Now, of course, playing it sitting down isn't an issue, but some people like to practice standing up. And of course, you know, there's always the issue when you're playing shows. When you're playing shows with an eight-string bass, uh, you might not be able to stand the entirety of the show. You might just have to bring a chair with you or just sit on an amp because I'm telling you guys, they're fucking heavy. Uh, bass guitars, you know, the funny thing about bass guitars is even even the four-string bass guitar is, heav is, is bigger and heavier than a six-string electric. I never really figured out why that was, but I can tell you guys this, ever since about the mid to late 90s, maybe even close to the early 90s, electric guitars have really shrunk in size. 
And because of that, they actually don't have as full a sound. Uh, the reason is because when you have a really big body, it's just all the vibrations are able to come out easier. Um, I can't really tell you the exact science, but it's just, you know, there's more girth to it and you get sort of a fuller sound. I really hate how electric guitars have become so small. They just look dorky to me. Uh, even even those pointy ones, you know, those BC Rich, they're just like, I'm sorry, man, but that's just, it's not badass if you have like a, a little pointy, you know, uh, Guitar Hero guitar. It's just, I actually bought a BC Rich one time. I couldn't stand practicing on it because you had to have it a certain way. Uh, it was one of those Warlock guitars, I think. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why I even got one. I guess I just thought it was cool. I thought it was edgy, bro. But, uh, yeah, I just, I was not happy with it. I returned it probably like four days, five days after I bought it. And fucking Guitar Center, being the bastards that they are, they made me pay extra because I didn't have the box it came in. Um, you know, I could make a Guitar Center rant if I wanted to on this video, but I'll spare you guys that. All I can say is, they are run by the devil himself. Uh, the devil works at Guitar Center. He's the owner. And so just just be prepared. You know, if you go there, it's just, it's not a fun experience. Uh, you'll get ripped off. I mean, by, by any means necessary, go to like a mom and pop store to buy a guitar uh, or any musical instrument for that matter. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick little uh, review on the eight string bass. I think that's the coolest instrument in the world. If you ever want to learn an instrument, uh, pick up an eight string bass. Uh, there's one by Meshuga, the band Meshuga. They, they have one out. Um, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken, um, isn't it a Schecter? It's either a Schecter or a, um, Ibanez. I forget. Um, I think it's a Schecter. But I know there's also another 8-string you can buy. It's called a Hellraiser, and that's my favorite. I'm pretty sure that's a Schecter. Uh, it goes for about, I think, 800 bucks, which isn't that cheap. But in my opinion, still worth the money. Uh, you know, you could probably get a used one for like 7 or 6 even. Uh, that's what I would probably do. I'd probably just buy a used one if I had the money. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this review. Again, I apologize I don't have an 8-string here I can show you, but believe me, there's plenty of videos on YouTube as well. I just sort of wanted to give my input, so I hope you enjoy this video. Also, I just want to say that, you know, I think bass guitar, real quick, a little mini rant on bass. I think it's a very underrated instrument. Uh, bass guitar, it adds so much, so much to the music. I mean, to, you know, different bands and songs. It's just... People, I think sometimes they just don't really notice it. And for all the really good bass guitarists out there, I mean, I don't need to name names. They know who they are. Uh, they add so much to the band. So, like, if, if you're a really good bass guitarist, you can make your band stand out ten times more than a band with, you know, your shitty generic bass guitarist who's just a follower, who just follows everything that, you know, rhythm guitar does. Fuck that. You know, bass guitar is its own thing. It's meant to it's meant to stand out. You're meant to be, you know, uh, uh, to do your own thing on it and not just like I said, you know, just follow because that's just lame. And, you know, anybody can do that. And I think there's just a lot of wannabe musicians out there who pick up bass just so they can be in a band and just, you know, so they can get women because apparently women, you know, they get turned on by guys who just, you know, play a shitty bass and just follow rhythm guitar, which is really sad. But uh, with me, though, what I like to do with my bass guitar, too, is uh, I don't just down tune the, 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 the biggest string on, I don't know what the biggest string on H string is, but I like to down tune all the strings a little bit, which I know may be weird for some people, but that's just how I like to do it. Um, when you play with really tight strings, not only is it going to make it easy to break a string, but I don't know, looser strings, to me, that's just more comfortable to play with a loose string. So don't feel like you have to have, you know, your, your, your guitar perfectly tuned to sound good. I don't personally believe that you do, but hey guys, that's just my opinion. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, stay tuned for more music stuff on the way. I'm going to try to do some covers. 
uh, maybe even some solo stuff, also playing on, um, I don't know, um, all kinds of shit. More music rants, too, because I like ranting about music. Uh, and reviews, definitely some reviews. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.